Tessa, I'm actually really excited to speak with you. Um, I was, when, when I got the notification, I was like, uh, I'm already a fan. Of course, I want to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's talk about The Brutas Nada. I mean, I, I got to watch three episodes and I loved it. I got a feel of a modern day Sex in the City slash Friends. Nice. Yes, I love those references. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about how you got involved and about your character for those that are going to be watching. Well, my character is named Cristina and she has apparently like the perfect life set out for herself. She has the great apartment and the husband to be and the perfect job and suddenly she finds her uh, her soon to be husband being unfaithful, so her whole world comes down. <laughs> and she thankfully has a great group of friends who help her through that process, mm -hmm. but um, they also tell her she should get a roomie, and that roomie says he's gay so that he can stay in as a roomie, but he's <laughs> not really gay, so that is gonna explode in his face <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> But it's a really, really fun, fresh show, I think, that, as you said, like, it, it has, like, it reminds me a bit of Friends, too, in the sense that it's, you feel ref reflected on the, on the characters, and they really feel like your friends. Like, you get home at the end of the day, and there's a group of people who are gonna hug you, welcome, and, <laughs> and love you back. <laughs> I know, it kind of gave me a sense of nostalgia, like right now, you know, like everyone's like keeping yes. out there. And so this was kind of like nice. It felt like nice and fuzzy, to be honest, watching. Um, so in, the, in this film, and I mean, on this series, it talks about lies. Um, there was this part where it's like, it's a, we're all part of this lying virus. Kind of like the roommate. Um, and you're and for Christina, like lying to be for survival in this case, for both ends. Yeah. Oof. I feel like lies are tricky because they sometimes they, they may seem that they're gonna help you get out of a situation quickly or easily, but they they always how we would say in Espanol siempre te cobra la factura. Mm -hmm. Lies always gonna come back and and ask for, for how how would you translate that? Come bite you in the butt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and Cristina, my character, obviously doesn't go to therapy and ends up with one liar and then the next liar and then they're all liars. Wait a minute, she has her friends for therapy. <laughs> oh, she has amazing friends, but she should also go to therapy because they can't be their, her therapist all the time. That's the beauty of this show because you also get to see the friends issues totally so i mean someone out there can relate to one or two of the characters oh my God, so much i was watching it and when i saw rodrigo's time personal timeline i i identified like three friends of mine who are going through exactly the same thing yeah exactly um, so that's where, that's where it reminds me of like Sex in the City because they're all going through their, their issues, their de life dilemmas, but yet at the end of the day, they, they can reconnect. Totally. And it, it refocuses like the, the main plot. We, we normally expect it to be the romantic love story. And I like that this series, like, yeah, of course you're going to get your dose of romanticism, but mm -hmm. it's also going to... Like it's, I feel like it's a show about friendship and many different universes and how they all intertwine. Right. So let's talk about a, fun, a couple of funny scenes. Oh my gosh, the one with uh, Gabriel. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. It wasn't a big scene, but it's hilarious because you technically you can do that to any guy out there and be like, I'm watching you. I know. I know. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, actually, I th he's a, an amazing Colombian actor, and we were so fortunate to be able to have him. Uh, and he, he was just so, so funny and so, so in the moment that it made, like, doing the scene really easily, like, spontaneous. 
Um, and I don't know, it was, I remember going to that big warehouse store and just having fun going into the pillows too. I don't know, you, you haven't seen yeah, that. I yet. did, I saw it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that looks, I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like this place where Christina goes back to every time she has her emotional crises. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to fix my home. <laughs> yes, that's actually one of the things that this, this, the series covers. Like, we feel like we can just do it. We don't need anyone's help. Right? Sí. Lo podemos todo. La <laughs> sí. Um, and then there was one at one one um one of the scenes where you know you're testing out this roommate and then here you have all these cats. Oh I mean, my that God. was that must have been a little bit of cat heaven for you because sí. I mean I and I share it with you, cat lovers. <laughs> sí. I love cats and I loved that that day because I got to pet so many kitties um and I, actually when i was reading it and then watching the, the the episode i also felt like she really seemed like the perfect roommate it sucks so much that she had to plot twist us that way for today for tessa yes maybe not for christina <laughs> exactly, exactly i would i would have loved to have her as a roommate right me too and then um the one of the highlights also watching is that there was a song of yours and actually one of my favorites i know i was so like emotionally touched when i saw that i knew it was gonna be there um thank you thank you to my director rafa lara because i know that he really wanted the song to be in it and he mm -hmm. fought for it and it's when it when I was watching it and it started, it was just so moving, like, oh my god. I guess it hits you in a different way because I was there doing doing my job as an actress and then having my music slowly pop up was like ah. it makes you it makes me feel like like I've done some stuff in my life and it's all coming together. Yeah. <laughs> Is Luciana guys gonna be in it? Maybe Buffalo, one of another couple of my favorites. Not for now. I think it's only a Cicalame, but hopefully next seasons. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so just to, I'm sure I have to wrap up soon, but can you tell, talk a little bit about your music? And for those that don't know, I mean, you, you create your own music. Yeah, I also... You just had an album, right? Yeah, I write my own songs. I started doing that when I was about 20. I used to write poetry and then suddenly... I just, I, I wasn't, I didn't have the courage to, to say like, I write poetry. So I started putting music into my poems and then I was like, oh, maybe I write songs. And, and yeah, I have one CD, well, one album named Correspondencia and two EPs that are available on every streaming platform. And share your, your social media so you can have new people learn about all your artistic <laughs> I'm on Instagram as Tesaurus Rex and on Twitter as Tesa guión bajo Ia underscore Tesa underscore Ia. And um, then just last question to wrap up. What do you hope the viewers take away from this show? I hope, I hope we give viewers a good time, a good time with themselves or with their partners or just a moment to forget the, the shit storm that 2020 has been mm -hmm. and that they can you know we all deserve to go home and watch something that puts us in a good mood before we go to sleep and i think the brutas nada is that show i love it i love it well thank you so much muchas gracias por tu tiempo oh, so,